Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new AIG Live Traffic Injector for Microsoft Flight Simulator. But more importantly, we're going to go through all the tutorial steps on how to download it, how to install it, and much, much more. So if you think that sounds interesting and you would like to have live traffic, then I think you should stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Okay everyone, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to download and install the Alpha India Group live traffic add-on for a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I'm gonna preface this by saying this is a very complex installation, so you really wanna follow along when you're doing the install. Otherwise, you're probably gonna miss a couple steps and things won't go as planned for you. Links for this install are down in the description and you wanna go down there and click on that right now so you can follow along. What are you doing? Why haven't you clicked on it yet? Hurry up, go down there and click on it, I'll wait. All right, so now that you've clicked on it, you're on the same page that I'm on right now. Now we can start the installation. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to the channel, I highly suggest while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell because you don't want to miss any future episodes just like this one. And if this video does help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. It's highly appreciated. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way and you've got the Alpha India Group page up on your screen, Let's start with the installation process. Now there's gonna be two pieces of software that we're gonna to need to download from this page and we're gonna start that right here. You need to go to the software tab and the first piece of software you're gonna need is the AI Manager. So give that a left click and it will bring up the AI Manager download page. Now on this page, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom where it says downloads down here and you've got two different options. Now, the one that you're going to want to use is the public beta 1.1. Click on that and it will now populate that download in your web browser here. Now that that is done, let's go ahead and get that second piece of software. So go back up to the software and left click on the traffic controller. Now on the traffic controller page, there is only one download. So you just need to come right down here and click on the download. Now, of course, when you do that, it's also going to populate down here in your web browser. So allow that to finish and then we will move on from there. OK, so as you can see, the downloads are done and we're pretty much done with this page. So I'm just going to move this off of the screen real quick and I'm going to open up the location where those two files were downloaded to. So I have everything coming into my downloads folder. And here we go. Now, because I've downloaded these before, they're going to have a little number after them in parentheses. So don't mind that. The next thing that we need to do is extract both of these. So we can just double click, hit extract and hit OK. And we want to do that to both of them. So let's do that real quick. So now that we've extracted both of those files, we need to place these files in a location that is not going to change meaning you're not going to move them somewhere else after we place them there. So I'm going to take both of these files and just place them right on to my main screen here, right on the desktop. Makes it pretty simple. Now we're done with that menu. So now that we have these on the desktop, there's only one that we're going to need right now. now I'm going to explain what both of these do a little bit later in the tutorial. Also, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to go over some very important settings you're going to need for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So don't hop off the video before you find out those settings or this mod may not go as planned for you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up the AIG Manager menu by just double clicking on that. Now we're just going to go down and find the AIG Tech AIG AI Manager application and right click on that and you're going to always run this as administrator so go ahead and click on that hit yes and there we go now when you're first time loading this up it's going to have this little pop-up window that's got to update some things so just go ahead and click ok and it's going to take a minute or so for it to do what it's got to do and then you should have a command prompt window 
pop up. So let's see if that happens. And by the way, if anybody has any questions along the way today, please don't hesitate to post those down in the comments. Lord knows I had many questions when I first started this and I had nobody to ask. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Okay, so now we've got the pop-up window that has come up. All you need to do is do exactly what it says. Just click on it, hit any key, and then it will go ahead and download, download those updates and restart. The, the next message that's gonna come up here on the screen is because this is the first time running, if you have a slower computer, then you may want to run in slow mode so that it doesn't bog down your PC. Again, just read what it says here, and then if it applies to you, then just pick the appropriate response. I'm gonna hit no and allow it to do its thing. Now, for this first load up, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna take five to 10 minutes. So don't be alarmed when it's just sitting here going and going and going, allow it to do what it needs to do. Once you get all of this done, you're not really gonna ever have to open this up again. So again, I'll explain all that after we get going into the uh, mod here. We'll just allow this to finish loading up. As soon as it does, I'll bring you guys back. All right, so once everything is loaded up, you're gonna be presented with this screen. Now you don't really, don't click on anything just yet. It can be a little daunting looking at this and it's not really that user friendly. So we're gonna walk through this step by step. Now, before we do anything, we need to set this up so that it can sync up with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the first thing that we need to do is come right over here to the settings tab. Now it's gonna bring you up a whole new list of menus up here at the top. And we're just going to click on the updates menu. Now, when you click on the updates menu, there's a couple things on here that we're going to wanna to change. Now I leave everything up here the way it is, but right here where it says pre-2018 OCI FPs, that means that it's not going to download anything prior to 2018. So if you don't want any old liveries popping up, then make sure that you untick that. Now, the next thing that you're gonna do is right down here on AIG Forum, you're gonna need to set up an account for your AIG Forum. It's very simple and it's easy to do. So to start that, all you need to do is click on the AIG forum and then hit login. It will now ask you to log in on the next window. Just hit OK. And I am just going to log in to my account right now. And then I would always tick the always stay logged in. This way it doesn't kick you out if you want to download more liveries. You'll understand what I mean by that in a little bit. Okay, so now that we have logged into the forum, that's it. You don't need to do anything else, just exit out of it. And now you're logged in. Perfect. So that's step one. We're done with the update screen. Now let's move on to the flight plan screen or the flight plan menu. Now in this menu, there's a couple things here. You can change the minimum activity and maximum activity. I leave these the default the way they are. Next, you're gonna make sure that the checked airports of non-OCI flight plans on startup, that's always checked. Down at the bottom here, we need to use the AIG flight plan files. So we're going to tick this little box. Now we need to show it the directory for the AIG. Now, here's why it's important that when I said in the beginning that when you place these two files on your PC, that you're not going to move them anywhere else once they're placed. This is one of the reasons, because we have to direct this to that directory in that folder. And if you move it, it will change everything. So now all we need to do is hit select to pick the directory. Now, some people may be confused as to what directory they actually want you to find for in here. The directory that we're going to find is the AIG traffic controller directory, not the AIG manager directory. So please make sure that you are selecting the correct folder. Now I have mine right on the desktop, so all I need to do is click on desktop and go right down to where it says AIG traffic controller. 
click on that, hit open, and now we want to select the application file, the EXE file for the traffic controller. So you can click on that and then tick open. Perfect. Now it sets that inside the directory for you. We need to go up here and hit the save button. From here on out, we're gonna be hitting that save button a heck of a lot. So now the next thing that we need to do is move on to the next part of this, which would be the cookies. So if you click on the cookies tab, and it's gonna take about a second or two to load this particular tab. All right, so now looking on the cookies menu, we've got two different websites here that we need to log into. Now you should already have the status logged in for the first one because we did that in the updates menu. We just need to create another account in the AvSim website. And to do that, all you gotta do is hit that login button again, and it will put you there. Now it's gonna bring up a bunch of script errors when you do this. All you need to do is just click yes and go through them. So I'm just gonna put my login here real quick so we can get this thing going. Hit login. And it's kind of the same procedure. Just click yes on those scripts. And once you are logged in, that's pretty much it. All you need to do is come back up here to the top and close out of it. So now if you go back to flight plans and go back to cookies again, it should show now that we are logged into both of those websites. Perfect. Hit that save button one more time. So the next menu that we're gonna look at is the AIG AIM menu. So give that a left click. And here is the last setup menu that we need to do. Now there's a couple things on here that we wanna make sure that we're checked. So for me, I'm only gonna use freeware only. Unless you have already pre-downloaded payware liveries, you're not gonna get those payware liveries to show up. So because I don't use a lot of payware liveries, I'm just gonna tick use freeware only. And you can also tick on this, it says do not use the ORBX liveries. I leave that unticked. Now at the very top here, we have two different menus, one that says general and one that says payware. If you click on the payware, you can see all the different payware liveries that are here. Now we're really not gonna pay attention to any of this stuff, so you can kind of disregard this menu. Or everything's gonna happen on the general menu here. So the next thing that we need to do is to set up the path for the AIG manager. What that means is we need to set the path where you wanna put this add-on. So that would be most of the time in your community folder or if you're using add-on linker, you're gonna set up the path for the folder that you're using for add-on linker. But in this particular tutorial, we're gonna act as if you have no add-on linker and we're gonna be using the community folder directly. So now to do that, all you gotta do is click on the setup menu and it's kind of gonna walk you through this step by step. Now we're just gonna click on the next and then it's going to already find the directory for your community folder. Now you can see that already listed at the top. Again, it's got a couple of these settings that we've already kind of went through. So we make sure that the freeware only is ticked. These other two can be unticked. And then down at the bottom has the AIG traffic controller directory. Again, that's why it's really important that you're not gonna switch around these folders after you place them wherever you want them. Okay, so now that it has found that, all you have to do is just complete the setup. It's gonna close out and then reload again. Actually, it's not gonna reload again. You've gotta reload it again. So once it closes out, you're gonna come back to the AIG manager, double click, go to the application, right click on it, and then run as administrator. Now, this load up process may not take as long as the very first time, but it's still gonna take a little bit of time. So allow it to finish loading up. As soon as it does, I'll bring everybody back. All right, so now that we are loaded back up, now the fun begins. Now, before I do anything, I wanna show you exactly what that did to our community folder. So I just pulled my community folder right here. I, I usually leave this right on my desktop in case I wanna add anything. But if we double click on that community folder, if you look right here, it says AIG traffic OCI beta. So it just installed this file into our community folder. Within this file is where all the liveries are gonna be downloaded to. 
So that kind of tells you what this piece of software is going to do. So now the next thing that we want to do is to start downloading some liveries that we want to use. Now to do that, it's pretty simple. If you go over here to flight plans, and if you go up to installed, you shouldn't have anything in here. It should be blank. Now one step over, go to online. Now there are thousands of different airline liveries in here, and you are not going to want to download all of them. So what I suggest that you do, and is what I did, go to the airports that you normally fly. You can just Google search and find out what airlines usually fly in and out of those airports. And then this way you can kind of pick those directly. Now I'm going to show you how to do this because there are some little hiccups that can occur especially if you're going to be downloading Delta Airlines. So I'm going to show you Delta first. Now to download deliveries, all you need to do is once you're on the online tab at the top is to come right down here to airline and you can type in the airline that you would like. So we're just going to type in Delta. At the top, we have two different airlines here that have the name Delta in them. Now, if you would like, you can do a bulk install, and that's pretty easy. All you would want to do is click on this one. Then you're going to hold down the shift key and then click on the next one. To install these, you would just come down to the OCI bulk and then tap on that. Now, this little box here next to it that says skip manual download, this really doesn't do much for me. So don't even worry about ticking that because I don't think it's going to help you that much. But what I want to do is not a bulk install because I want to show you what comes up on the screen when you do just a normal one livery install. So we're going to tick Delta Airlines and then go right over to install. Click on the install button and it's going to now take another second or two for the next screen to pop up. So don't get ahead of yourself. Just allow it to do what it needs to do. All right, so here is the Delta Flight Plan Installation tab. Now you have two different menus at the bottom. One is the Install Manual and Install Using OCI. What we want to do is click the Install Using OCI, give that a left click, and now it's going to bring you up with your next screen, which is going to tell you that you can configure the various different models from different developers. So if you click on that configure button, here's where you can go down and select different liveries if they're available for the different aircraft. We're not going to worry about any of that. So all we want to do is come over here and click the install button. Again, you do not have to go to the configure tab unless you really want to, and it just makes it more complicating. So once the screen comes up, just hit the install button. Now some magic is going to happen and it's going to go through and download all the different various liveries and aircraft from the various developers that created them. So now we're going to allow this to go through the process of the download. And as soon as we get to the next step, I'll bring you guys back again. Okay, so now after you download those liveries, you're going to see that they're no longer going to be displayed here. Now, unfortunately, what I wanted to have happen did not happen. So I'm going to explain what you could possibly run into while you're downloading these liveries. Now, some of them, you may get a pop-up that says, unfortunately, we're not able to download delivery. We need to take you to the website. Click OK. It will then bring up the website and it will download that file as a zip. You do not extract that zip folder and it's going to tell you on the screen here to find that file. Don't click OK yet. All you need to do is open up wherever you've got it downloading to, which I have my downloads. You're going to find that zip folder that it's asking you to select. Drag that folder to your AIG manager. You would drag it right over to the AIG manager folder once you do that, then you can hit OK that you will select that file. It will then open up your AIG manager folder and you can select the zip file and it will move on from there. 
So I hope that explains it for you. And if you have any questions, please post those down below. Next, all you have to do is go through all the different airlines and type in whatever you want to download and then go up and then hit install and go through that same process on all the different liveries. Okay, so now that you have all of your liveries finished downloading in the AIG manager, there is one more step that we have to go through and that's verify that all of the liveries are 100% so that nothing is corrupt. So all you need to do is go back to the settings tab, go at the top where it says AIG, click on that. And right down here at the bottom of this menu is gonna say verify setup. Now you want to click on that and that's going to verify that all of the liveries and textures are correct. You want to say yes to install any missing repaints and allow it to do its thing here. Now this is a very important step to make sure that you're not going to have any weird liveries or blank liveries and that does happen from time to time. All right, so it automatically downloaded everything it needed to do. The next one that you want to click on is verify texture format. Now that will just verify that all the textures are correct. Once that's done, you can hit OK, and then you can remove any temporary data. Now that that's done, we can click on the save. So we're going to move on now to the AIG traffic controller. Now here's where I'm going to explain a little bit about what they do. Now, I talked earlier about the AIG manager. This is what's going to create that folder for you inside of your community folder. And that's where it's going to download all those different liveries inside that folder. But that is not what's going to give you the live traffic. That's just going to give you the liveries and the aircraft for the live traffic to use when it injects that into the sim. I hope I came across right when I say that. Now we want to do is you can leave this open or close it if you like, but we're going to open the AIG traffic controller. So double click on that and you're going to go down to the application file, right click on it and then run that as administrator. Now there's a couple things that we need to set up in the traffic controller and you'll get this window here that this also needs to update. So just click on that OK button and it will kind of go through the same process of updating itself. So we allow that to happen, and then as soon as that populates, I will bring everybody back. Now you may get this little pop-up here that's going to say it cannot update when it's opened with prepared 3D or the sim. And it's going to ask, was it started using auto start feature on prepared 3D? No. Again, it'll bring up this little command prompt. You're going to click on it and then hit any button, and it will then do what it needs to do and load up for you. It will also ask us if we want to run into slow mode depending on your PC. So we're going to just hit the no button and allow that to continue to load. Now, this particular program doesn't take as long as the AIG manager software. So all the liveries that you do download in the AIG manager, if you go over here to installed, it will show you all the different liveries that you have installed on your AIG manager. And again, you can add to this at any time that you want. All you need to do is to come down, select your airline, hit install, and go through that same process again. All right, so now let's take a look at the AIG traffic controller. Now, the AIG traffic controller is what's going to inject the live traffic into your sim. But how it does that is it uses the AIG manager in conjunction so that when it injects that live traffic, it actually puts the plane and the livery in the sim. So if it's a 757 or a 777, it will inject that directly into the sim for you, as well as the appropriate livery for that plane, so long as you have it downloaded. All right, so now let's talk about the AIG traffic controller. And when you first open this up, it's gonna bring you up on the map screen. And because we don't have the SIM open, nothing's really gonna show up here. So we need to do a couple setting tweaks. So we're gonna just click on the settings menu at the top. And now there's a couple things down here that we need to click on. So the first option here is use AIG FP. So we're gonna tick on that. Next, we need to select the OCI directory. So that's the one click directory. Again, this is the another reason why you don't want to move these files around. So make sure they stay wherever you put them. I can't stress that enough. 
all you need to do is click on the select button now here's where it can be a little bit challenging to find out where the OCI directory is now this is the directory that's going to be in the community folder so you need to find that on here now I know where mine is so we're just going to go to my name go down to app data we're going to click on local down to packages I believe packages and then we're going to find Microsoft Flight Simulator there it is right there so once we click on Microsoft Flight Simulator we're going to come down to local cache then we're going to click on packages and then that's our community folder right there so we click on community and we're going to go and find that AIG traffic OCI beta file we click on that and now that is all we need that's the directory so we can click OK now when you do that it's probably going to be a really long file and it's not going to automatically go to a second line so you need to come over here and just expand this a little bit so now you can see everything in there now when you select this make sure that it says at the very end AIG traffic OCI beta because what I did on the first time when I initially installed this I didn't click that and I only went as far as the community folder but didn't actually select the AIG traffic beta folder so make sure you select that now once that is selected we are pretty much almost done other than coming down here and hit save settings so now that we have saved everything you come up here to airport manager you can also enable extra ground traffic i'm not sure if that works or not so i just leave that off all right so now that we have this pretty much set up we need to restart it so that we can make sure that all these settings take effect now before i do again i'm just going to explain how this interacts with each other so you have an idea the AIG manager again is going to insert all the liveries into your community folder for you so if you're not going to use live traffic all those same liveries are going to populate on all the different aircraft in the sim as well you just won't have live traffic for live traffic to work the AIG traffic controller then will be linked as you can see we linked it to the AIG traffic file inside the community folder so once we start this it will then inject the live traffic through the AIG manager into Microsoft Flight Simulator I hope that makes sense for everybody so now that we have that done we can restart this and I'm going to just close this out as well. Okay, so now you're asking, what do we do next? Now that you've downloaded all the liveries that you want in the AIG Manager application, we've closed out the Traffic Controller application. It's very important that you do that. Now what we wanna do is start the sim. So while I get that started up, go grab a drink come on back and we'll go through this together all right everyone so now that we're in the sim we're going to talk about some of the settings that we're going to need to change to utilize this live traffic function now if you don't have the user interface that i'm using right now i'll post a link down below in the description and you can pick up the wingman user interface so the first thing we need to do is come to the general options tab and go over to the traffic menu once you're on the menu go all the way to the bottom and we've got to change a couple of the AI and multiplayer traffic detail settings so you want to make sure that you use the generic models for AI and multiplayer in the off position and also keep the traffic variety in the ultra position now the one of the reasons that we want to make sure that these are off is because this software is going to inject the correct aircraft as well as the livery for that aircraft in the sim 
surf using multiplayer mode and somebody's got a plane that you don't currently own it will display that plane in the simulator so it's pretty cool now the next thing we need to do is to come all the way up to the top where it says aircraft traffic type now everything on this menu is going to just relate to the microsoft ai traffic and live traffic and we already know that the live traffic does not work in microsoft flight simulator otherwise we wouldn't be going through this video right now <laughs> so the other one that you can utilize would be the ai offline traffic if you are not going to use the live traffic injector and that would be the AIG traffic controller that's right here, then you can just allow the sim to place AI traffic around for you. Now you can adjust the density of that traffic right here, and it will also inject all of the different liveries and aircraft that we have already downloaded. So just keep that in mind. But for this tutorial, we're more concerned with live traffic, so we just want to turn that off. Great. The next thing that I do is I like keeping nameplates on. This way it helps me identify my multiplayer friends. But if you want to turn that off, go right ahead and click that in the off position. Next thing you need to do is click apply and we are pretty much done on this screen. Now you can go back and go to the world map and we are going to load into Denver International. Now, keep in mind that we only downloaded the Delta liveries, so I went ahead and put all of my liveries back in um, into the sim. So when we load into this airport, you're gonna see a bunch of different liveries, and that's because I've already downloaded all of them. So the next thing that we need to do is turn on or off our multiplayer traffic. To do that, you need to come up here to flight conditions, right over here where it says live, all, or off. This is where you're gonna select whether you want to see your multiplayer friends or not. So we're just gonna keep this off for the moment because we don't wanna see any other users of Microsoft Flight Simulator. We really wanna see the live traffic. So again, we've got that off and we have that off. Perfect. So we've pretty much set everything up and now all we need to do is click fly. Now, it's still very important at this point that you keep both the AI traffic controller and the AIG manager closed. We do not need those open right now. And you're going to understand why here in just a second. And I can't stress enough, if anybody has any questions through this, please post those down in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. All right, so the first thing that we need to do when we load into the sim is to go up and set our time of day. So we're just going to set this for 8 o'clock in the morning and then hit off. Next, I'm going to come outside of the plane right now so you can see exactly what's going to happen. All right, so let's make our way over to the main part of the airport here. And you can see all the different cool liveries that are down here at the moment. But we still do not have any live traffic injected into the sim. So keep that in mind right now. So now what we want to do to inject the live traffic is to come over here to the traffic controller, double click on that, and then come down to the application, right click, and run as administrator. This is the only piece of software you're gonna to need to open for live traffic to work. You don't need to, you do not need to use the AIG manager anymore unless you wanna download any other liveries. So let's allow this to load up and then once that does, I'll bring you guys back and show you what happens. Okay, so now that we have loaded up the AIG traffic controller, give it a second, and the map should now populate on the screen and show us where we are. So now it's gonna load up the map for the airport. You can zoom in and actually see all the little ground traffic moving around, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but more importantly, you can see all the live traffic for the planes that are going on right now. Now, what we need to do to turn the live traffic on is to come over here to the settings menu. Now, again, you want to make sure that your OCI directory is correct and it has the AIG traffic OCI beta as the very last 
string here. If it does not, and you end it at community, make sure that you go and reselect the correct file. You want to make sure that it opens the AIG traffic OCI beta. In any case, now what we're going to do is click on the inject traffic. Oh, before we do that, if you go down here to the bottom where it says connected, you can actually see that it has the correct date and time at the bottom. That's why it's very important that you select your time of day and everything before you actually open this up and load into the uh, traffic controller. All right, now the next thing we want to do is just hit inject traffic and let's see what happens. And you can see on your screen right now that uh, a lot of aircraft are starting to populate inside of the sim. And, you know, like this one right there just popped up. A couple over here just popped up. Now I'm going to show you what happens <clears throat> if we exit this application. Now keep in mind that when you want to use live traffic, you always have to keep this application open and running. If I close this out, you see what just happened? All of that live traffic that it injected disappeared. So keep that in mind that if you want live traffic, you always have to keep this traffic controller open and running. We're going to load this back up again and show you one more time what's going to happen. Now the other thing, it is really important that you download all the liveries for that particular airport so that you can get the full effect of this. And I will also say that if you are going to use ATC on the in-game ATC with live traffic, it gets very crowded on the radio now. And sometimes it's very difficult to butt in because the sim won't allow you to press any buttons on the ATC menu. Once you get this traffic mod going and get up in the air, you will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so it has now started back up again. Again, it's going to take a, a minute or so for it to completely bring up on the screen, but it will show you down here at the bottom that it is connected and the current date and time as well. If you want to center this over us, all you got to do is click the center on user and that will pull us right over top of where we are. Next, we hop on up here to the settings menu, make sure that the string is correct in the directory, and then come over here and hit inject traffic, and then we can just minimize that. And if you take a look here on the screen, you can now see that we've got some stuff happening. Planes are populating in here, and jetways are moving. Now, one of the things that I did notice is that sometimes these will flicker between different liveries. Now, I'm not sure if it just confused as to what livery that it should be, or don't know. But you may see that. You also may see the occasional blank livery. I have run into that as well. Again, I hope this tutorial video had helped you out because I know there's not that much information out there on YouTube or on the web. So in any case, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. And if this video did help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmers around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.